Seems like we're gonna be wearing these masks for a while. Can you tell whose pants are on fire now? Keep watching to find out. I am Tracy Brown, the fraud busting body language expert and my friend uh, Tamara Gondor, who is a, a fantastic speaker and innovation expert has uh, agreed to help me in this little experiment to see if we can detect deception, or mainly if I can detect deception while wearing a mask. And this is uh, what we have to do these days in this whole uh, virus uh, situation we have going on. So we're going to play a little game and it's called Real Confessions and this is how it's going to go. Uh, now Tamara has three emails that actually my husband sent her that that contain confessions okay so um i i don't know if they're true or if they're false okay so this is totally blind uh these things may have actually happened or they may be a lie so i am gonna ask her to open one of the emails and then uh, read it sell it like it's the truth and i am gonna have a minute to interrogate her and determine if she is telling the truth or telling a lie. I know. Are you ready? Okay, Matt. I'm on so now. excited. Matt. And I on. And so who knows? I have not opened the email, so I don't even know what I'm in for to be able to let it sink in. Yeah, it's a it's a surprise. It's a surprise yeah. to both of us. And that's how you want it, right? For a for a blind test. So tomorrow, mask on. Let's see what you got. Okay, hold on. And I'll take my glasses off. I just need them for reading. Okay. I'm just trying to adjust my camera. There we go. That's a little better. Oh, you look good. You're hot. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. Now, uh, first thing before you open an email, let's let's do. And this is what you got to do in deception detection. You got to get a baseline on people. So notice how they normally respond. Okay. So I'm gonna okay. ask her a couple questions just to get a normal response. Things that she wouldn't have any reason to lie about. So you got to tell me the truth in these. So okay. let's see. Um, how many kids do you have? Oh, I have two kids. Two kids. Okay. And how old are they? 11 and 15. Okay. And what street did you grow up on? Uh, Warrington Road. And I thought about that for a second because like we moved every four years. Oh, okay. And yeah. let's, oh, where are you from? California. California. Okay. And what's your dog's name? Zoe. Okay. Got it. Oh, you smiled big with Zoe. Okay. We know you love Zoe. Now, She's my girl. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. How about email yeah. number two? All right. Hold on. Let me go over here. Email number two. Okay. Okay. Ready? I am. Okay. It's all you. All right. Tracy, I had the most amazing experience. I roller skated across the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, okay, what year was this? 1997. 97, how old were you? I was 12. 12, okay. <laughs> um, let's see, and uh, was it roller blades or roller skates? Roller skates. Roller skates, okay, and what we, why, why was this um, going on? Um, well, I've always wanted to do like walk, run, whatever across the Golden Gate Bridge. So I decided roller skates would be the best way to do it. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, did you hurt yourself? No, but I did run into a few tourists. Did you hurt the tourists? No. No, okay. And who were you with? Um, I was with my sister. Your sister, okay. Older sister, younger? Younger. Younger, okay. All right. I think I have a read on it and I think uh, I passed the right side around too. Oh yeah. Did you want to bring it backwards? <laughs> Upside down. Okay. Um, I think it was a lie. Oh. Do you want me to tell you if it was or wasn't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? It was a lie. Oh, I got it right. Okay. Here's how I knew. And that is because on some of the questions, and we can see it in the replay, you actually yeah. backed away. Because I, ah, uh, I went like this. The, um, uh, when I was in your baseline, you would kind of go forward a little bit. So, all right, okay, Tracy one, right. tomorrow zero. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's okay. go with email number three. Okay. Okay, okay you ready? Yes. 
It's all you. Okay. I have been to a rockin' party at the Playboy Mansion. Oh, okay. Um, what year was this? Uh, I don't actually remember the year. I'm gonna go with probably around 99. 99? What year in school were you? I wasn't, I'd already graduated. Oh, okay. And um, how'd you end up there? Uh, my advertising company hosted a party there, and so I had to attend because they were our clients. Oh, okay. So, um, do you meet anybody interesting? Uh, I met Dre and Russell Simmons. Oh, and Hugh Hefner. Oh, okay. Now, um, what was, was Hugh wearing his robe? Uh, Hugh was in a wheelchair, funny enough. I don't oh. remember if he was wearing his robe or not, but he, I remember him being in a wheelchair. Oh, okay. And um, let's see. Was uh, How much did you drink? I drank maybe two drinks, but I didn't get drunk. Oh, okay. What happened in the grotto? Oh, a lot of things happened in the grotto. <laughs> <laughs> gotta keep it PG rated here. I didn't do any of them, but I did see what was happening in the grotto. Okay, all right. And then um, who else were you with? Other people from my job. So other people in the advertising firm and then our clients at Johnny Walker. Oh, okay, okay, got it. All right, I think that's our interrogation. And, um, I'm going to say lie. Mm. No, it was true. That's true. Okay. Here's <laughs> why I said lie. Here's why I said lie. I was fuzzy on some details though, because honestly, I don't quite remember some things. That that was what I was catching, is the fuzziness, because yeah. you shrugged a couple times. Yeah, yeah. And um, you didn't go, because I, I gave it away on, on um, the first one. Where yes. I think you were staying a little more still. Because yeah, I knew what was happening. <laughs> you knew what was going on, but I was like, oh, this is, like, there's some truth in there somewhere, but there's also, like, a little bit of uncertainty. Yeah. Well, some of it I, I am uncertain about, because, I like, I don't remember what year that was. I know I was living in New York. But I don't that remember. That had me, too, because I was like, wait a minute. I thought you were in New York, so. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, okay. The score is one to one. Now, okay. should we, yeah, let's just tie it. We'll, we'll do, this is the uh, tiebreaker here. Tiebreaker for the win. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's email number one. One. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. Ready? Let me get situated. Okay. okay. Tracy, wine is my favorite of all alcoholic drinks. Oh, okay. And um, what kind of wine? Oh, red. Red? How, how much have you had here during the uh, quarantine? Oh, uh, you know, probably a bottle a night. A whole bottle? Yeah, well, you know, you start at four, and then by <laughs> eight, you have a lot. You could have said you were starting at 11. So <laughs> <I know. laughs> yeah, okay. Now, um, what's your favorite uh, brand? Uh, cake bread, it's from Sonoma. Oh, okay. And then, uh, let's see. So did you have another favorite before um, this particular uh, brand or has it always been this one? Um, I think before I probably just liked um, grocery store brands. I don't know that I was very particular. Grocery store, <laughs> two buck chuck. <laughs> two buck chuck. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. So before you had wine, before wine was your favorite, was anything else your favorite? Uh, tequila. Tequila. All right, cool. All right, okay, interrogation is over. And I'm going to say lie. Total lie. <laughs> <laughs> How did you tell? You were moving around a little bit too oh. much, and, and you were, your answers, sometimes you would hesitate a little bit, and sometimes you would say too much. And so that's how I... Oh. Yeah. It was funny because uh, in, with alcohol in particular, I know nothing, So because I don't drink. So... Um, I had to really rack my brain to find answers. Yeah, and when you said well, grocery store brands, I was like... <laughs> grocery store brands? <laughs> you could see my mouth too, my mouth was like... <laughs> the Safeway wine. <laughs> okay, so Tracy, here's my question to you, because you got it mostly right, and the things you picked up on, on the Playboy Mansion, which now I'm gonna be getting phone calls about, thank you oh. by the way, um, is like, uh, what was that? Oh, so, is you know only from like the eyes and the movement and all of that like how do you figure how did you what were you looking at to know that i was at least hesitating or not quite telling a truth or something was up okay so it was listening and looking okay so in this time i think we need to understand that uh 
words and word error rates are a higher indication of deception than body language. And that's really going to play to our favor. Like grocery store wine. Like yeah, grocery store wine. Um, and you said something else in 1999 or 97, you were 13 years old. That's actually not right. Yeah. <laughs> so like, mathematically correct. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to add that up, right? So little things like that, but also when people stutter at, in before important answering important questions or during potentially incriminating questions, that can be an issue as well, like like a red flag. In the first question, I noticed you kept you would lean back, and it, when I was doing your baseline, you would kind of lean forward and you would kind of tilt your head. And in the last question, you tilt your head the other way. Mm. Oh, this way. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I would I would look at things like that. So when you were telling the truth, you were much more forward. And when we look at the video, because I'll send it to you, yeah. you'll see, and you'll be able to see it as well. It's a finer tuning, I guess. It's not as easy, but it, we've proven that it can be done two times out of three. And do you think, um, the other question I have for you is, I, so I intentionally, like, I have to take, I'm so used to being on web calls that I have my hands in my lap so that I don't get all weird. But I did have an inclination, like my nose itched at one point, you know, like I wanted to mess with my hair. Like, are those indications of stuff too? Well, okay, so let's talk about that. Cause there's situational things, especially right now, your nose could itch cause the mask was over it. Yeah, it's hot. However, yeah. we have uh, more capillaries in our face and, and in our, especially in our nose. And th that's why um, you hear about the Pinocchio effect. Like that's a real thing. They didn't just come up with that Pinocchio's nose would grow. Uh, but when we get anxious, a lot of times we're anxious when we're lying mm -hmm. and not all the time, but a lot of times, and that can increase the, um, blood pressure, increase our blood pressure, which will increase the, um, size of the capillaries in our nose, which makes them itch. Right. So it's this like cascading effect. I've seen a lot of this, mm -hmm. like when people yeah. are lying. Mm -hmm. And then doing your hair, that can be a that's like that's self preening and that can be nervous as well so neither one are necessarily about deception but when you look at the baseline and you add it up with uh again some of the math that we did some of the shoulder shrugs and then you see a little bit more of this hmm. that can be an indicator as well so hmm. don't try to lie when you go out <laughs> can't even do it with a mask on it turns out i know i know well thank you so much for helping me out on this experiment um, and um where can people get in touch with you so they can find out more about the playboy mention <laughs> and i need to ask your husband how he knows these things about me because yeah. those are very specific things uh, especially because i grew up in california so the golden gate bridge yeah. um go to launchstreet.com so g-o-t-o launchstreet.com it's that, that's the hub for everything yeah and tomorrow has amazing uh, little inner innovation bursts, I think, during this uh, stay at home time. So make sure you sign up for those and I'll see you uh, next time.